Alrighty, I just did introvert doll. Introvert doll, I think is how you kind of say it, maybe. But uh, now we're going to be doing three cordy. Okay? I'm interested. Uh, T-shirts are available in Hungary. Your favorite rapper sucks, unless if it's Azariah when he's rapping. Uh, let's get right into it, man. Here we go. <laughs> Jó pár év már benne, de több az, ami vár Előttem utalattam a katakombák A járok fél út, még úgy vágyok arra Hogy a szemembe nézhess Szebb lett, mint a múltban, de valami fáj Ez nem igazi dolog, ez valami szimulát Nincsen elezzel rá, jól tudom De legalább dús gazdag, mint Pablo Márványból a padló So rich like Pablo? Like Pablo Escobar, I'm assuming um, wow, man, it's every time I do these translations, his lyrics are just so they are so deep, like they're very reflective, introspective and deep. And that's one thing that I really do like about Azariah. Um, I, you know, I obviously don't speak Hungarian, but uh, having these these things translated, it gives so much more depth to the music. Um, let's keep going. Sziasztok, lett ez az élet De nekem nem ezt kell attól tartom Hogy engem is tovább lögtök majd úgy Úgy, mint az előtt Vigyázz, ha megjövünk, hajrá Nézzük be, mit hozhat a sorsunk, ha már Nem találhatunk haza Izodom, hogy a még a szemed ellát Halmazra nyomom én a szóló Egyedül vele többet arány Reggel gyullad a szaza De te bukod el, ami jár Man, and the lyrics are so fluid. Like it's, um, like sometimes when people are writing songs, like the lines don't connect great. But it seems like all of these lines, they seem to be a, like one fluid thought almost. That's fascinating. Because it's a lot harder to do than people realize. Like I write rap lyrics. I put out two freestyles on the channel. Um, it's a lot harder to like link everything together and make it one big cohesive thought than people realize. Um, yeah, that's fascinating, man. I, you know, I see artists like Azariah, artists like Ren, who they seem to be very good like very good people at least like from what i can tell and they're in these these like cutthroat industries where people want to commodify your gift they want to make money off of your talent um and they probably have these vultures telling them oh you need to do this you need to do merch you need to do like an advertisement for this and that and they just probably want to make music and enjoy that experience of the actual art behind um, you know, the fame, they just want to do what they enjoy. Um, and I've, I've, there's been some lyrics in Azariah's videos, um, and songs as well that, um, you know, it seems like he's, he's not a huge fan of the showbiz and the, um, you know, just kind of like that cutthroat nature. Um, I'll just keep going here, man. <laughs> Bánod már, hogy fáj, bánod 
Man, and even like the vocal mixing, and he's got such layered vocals. Like he'll do like a raw, like one track vocal, and then it, like for for emphasis and that airiness, he'll bring in multiple tracks. And I mean, his vocal mixing is man, it's on point. Uh, I wish I could mix vocals like this. That'd be crazy. Um, but yeah, I mean, just the sound of it is is really good. And he, I said this in the introvert doll is. Um, he, he does a really, um, he, he does a phenomenal job of knowing how to, how to make these verses in these choruses and they're very, they're very, like, they're very sonically pleasing. They sound very good to the ears. Um, and he's it just time after time. I mean, he can work with all these melodies and in harmonies and just make these beautiful songs, these beautiful compositions. Let's, let's keep going. <laughs> I really like that flute. Uh, I don't. I think it's a flute of sorts at the end. Um, I really like that. Um, man, Azariah, dude. I'm gonna. I said in the last one, I would love to meet him, but I'm gonna wrap this one up. 